to add the treadmill system to our program because we had two or three horses at top level that we were using the treadmill at a different site uh, that we found a huge benefit from, from its application. Uh, so that just got us thinking over a couple of years that this would be something we would love to have at home, to have it more accessible for many different ailments really with horses. I think the biggest thing was the horses we were using it with were horses that you know, we were managing sort of soundness issues. But, you know, experiencing firsthand the benefits of it, we wanted to be able to use it on a wider range of horses and not just for um, soundness things, more for an overall strength and conditioning for the younger horses and therefore having it in our own yard so we weren't travelling daily um, was fairly instrumental. It's been great with the old horses, just keeping them, you know, on the road at top level without having to gallop them as much as we once did. Um, right down to the young horses who are a little bit, perhaps a little bit weak, just strengthening work and just getting them um, in a place where they can find their day-to-day -day work uh, easier. It feels uh, early days in terms of uh, us learning the treadmill and its true benefits, but certainly in these early stages we've noticed some really good changes. Uh, one of the main things that we were hoping to do was to reduce the galloping and hopefully you know, give the horses a longer, healthier career. And having come through our first preparation through to you know, a top level long event, we think we managed to do that you know, with about six or seven gallops, which is, is fairly minimal in the scheme of their preparation. So we've certainly ticked that box. And um, I'm gonna hand over to Tim in terms of the horse's sort of general uh, muscle definition uh, and tone. Yeah, I think, it, although like Janelle says, it's been a short time that we've had it in place, um, the results are showing um, in what Janelle has just said with the canter work and the reduction of the canter work and having horses with plenty of stamina through their long events in particular, um, through to jumping really well on the final day and the show jumping, so that's been um, on show to us, um, but also with uh, younger, weaker horses, I've found that it has really helped them they don't have the rider's weight on their back, but they have to use their bodies in a, in a nice straight manner, um, developing good top line. And I think that's been something that we've been able to um, see the benefit of already. And then anything from, uh, you know, horses with a bit of a, a soundness issue, uh, maybe a long-term underlying soundness issue, or even just a horse with a short-term soundness issue where maybe they've had a stone bruise or a, um, a nail gone the wrong way, something like that, and you can't do the work you would typically do. Um, but uh, you can keep up a certain level of work by implementing the uh, treadmill. I think one thing to add too is probably the fact that we opted for the salt water and uh, thus far we're really pleased we did. Historically we'd had one or two horses that might have had a little tiny boot rub or something that then flared up um, you know, having been in the water treadmill but we've had no such thing with the salt water. Um, it obviously has remedial qualities and um, so far it, it seems to be working very well. So we're running a team of around 35 horses here at Mere Farm, uh, ranging from freshly broken uh, young stock right through to, uh, we've actually got a trio this year of 17 year old, uh, dear old five star horses. So it is, you know, from, from the youngest up through, right through we've been using it. The older horses we are tending to do twice a week and then we would only gallop them once a week on top of that. And then the younger horses are coming on once a week. So all in all, we've been putting about 50 to 60 horses through a week, um, which is very easy for a machine of this caliber. I've been pleasantly surprised about how well the horses have uh, taken to the water treadmill. Um, they've all been very good, and it's only taken maybe one or two sessions to get them used to the treadmill with the water in there as well and then we slowly, each session, we build up with a little bit more water. So the horses start maybe once a week and then slowly build up to twice a week um, with the water going up to, um, quite high up to their knees. Um, well, I've never used a, handled a water treadmill myself before we got this. Um, and we had Dr. Matthias Baumann come for two days like training before we actually started using it and it's actually very easy to use it's just a few buttons to press here and there and uh, it works really well very easy and we clean it once a week and backwash it and it's got a very good system where it cleans itself pretty much all the time and um, so it's very easy to keep clean and um, very easy to use
Also, the treadmill is really good because it doesn't have, it's a really nice length, so the horses have got a really nice long room to walk and they can, um, we don't have any straps on there, which is great because the horses can really relax in the treadmill and put their head down and really stretch whilst they're uh, working as well. Um, so it's really nice that the horses can um, just have a nice time in the treadmill as well as working. I guess a couple of the safety features were very important to us when we were choosing uh, which company to go with and sort of elaborating on what Lucy's saying it has uh, no buffer at the front or back so the horses do have real freedom and range of movement and it is very interesting if you have a spare few hours to um, stand up there and watch the way the horses work and their different actions it is really quite interesting 